Morning folks, um, mm, don't fancy painting today, you get those days, but I thought I'd have a good old sort out, so um, last night, oh, it shows I was cutting and clipping, cut and clip loads and loads of cavalry um, from the um, Ashen Core Knights, is it, the mounted figures, and uh, I've just got these four boxes left to do here so I think I might be taking these apart and uh, seeing what I've got um, I've got some in here that are still these are out of the box and need clipping yeah uh, they need clipping but so I've got one box of knights left and three boxes of infantry but of course in each infantry box is also a sprue of knights so I think what I'll do is I'm going to have a sort through, see what I've got, and um, work out what I need. So I'll just get on with that. Right, well there we go. We've got uh, three sprues of the, uh, what they call the English knights and the English style knights. And I've got three, six sprues of the French style knights. So, uh, what's that? Got One, two, twelve. 36, so, uh, 48, 54 knights I've got, 54 lots of knights, and then I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 sprues of the French infantry as it calls them, um, from these I need to sort out, I need some musicians to go with my command groups, I'll need a guy as a stander bearer that I can drill the hand out, uh, officer types, commander, I've got plenty of knights um, and I think I'm going to need some crossbowmen I haven't got any got, I've got about a dozen crossbowmen at the moment so I need to sort those out and this is all these are uh, the array of all the bits from Christmas this is what I've got down to now so um, yes, right, I'll get on have a sort out, see what I can do um, okay, well, it's gone well so far. It's a big bag of the uh, infantry, uh, French uh, Asian Corps infantry. We've got a bag of, uh, well, two bags of the knights, French knights. We've got a bag of the English knights. We've got bags of the uh, web various weapons. Uh, and, uh, well, this is all the, uh, the harness I need for the uh, command groups. And what I've also done, um, I want to do some crossbowmen, but most of these figures are very heavily armoured. Helmet, pot hats, etc. I wanted a few with bare heads, so I got my bag of spare heads, which are from various sets. I think some of the Victrix, Gallic, the Victrix Germans, others, etc. etc. And if you can see them, I put a few heads onto the medieval figures. So this one particularly nice. This is the bald headed guy. Um, and he's going to be a crossbowman. I think that fits really well. I should just put some filler in between the slight gaps obviously you get. Um, this was guy I think was a uh, little cap and I thought that looked very that looks medieval enough for me with a little cap. Again, you can see the gap between the neck hopefully and the I should just put a filler in there. And what else we got? Well, this was a nice one. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. So you could, uh, and because obviously they are, uh, these are Perry's medievals, uh, and I've linked these with Victrix Germanics. I've not picked any with top knots or anything that looks too Germanic. These are just basic Germanic slash Gallic, I think, heads from Victrix, and. I'm very pleased. Another one there with Zoe shouting uh, again. So what I've tried to do is pick the unarmored torsos. Um, unfortunately, you've got some chainmail neck pieces. Nothing I can do about that. Everything's sort of very, very armored. But uh, I'll, uh, I'll do a few like this. I've got up to um, 74 crossbowmen from the sets I've got, so or 74 crossbows, um, so I can have uh, you know whatever. Uh, whatever I want up to 74 crossbowmen it'll just be sorting out the figures sorting out the heads some will have armoured heads and some won't but uh, 
Yep, so there we go, get it well. So the sprues I've got left now, uh, these are all the weapons sprues, uh, all the weapons left on the sprues. Um, some pavises and uh, yeah, everything else is off. I think all oh, a few of the heads, the heads are still on. So I'm gonna clip those all up and bag those. Um, work my way through those sprues. Um, and over here we've got one called, yeah, this is the knight sprues, which are just all the swords. Loads of swords and the visors. So they're very fiddly. Um, I've got plenty of these grip lock bags, so I should just de-sprue and bag everything up. So I'll get on with some more de-sprueing. Well, there we go. That's basically it. I spent the day cutting and snipping and clipping. Um, I like to do it that way. I like to uh, take the sprues apart and because there were five boxes, um, four boxes and then one I'd already de-boxed. Yeah, but there we go. So I've uh, separated the arms into uh, these are the leather type. Uh, we've got metal arms there. Metal arms, you know, uh, armor. <laughs> and we've got cloth arms there. Uh, some pavis there. Uh, bucklers and swords. Um, those are a few of the uh, crossbowmen with the Victrix heads. And now we've got bags of heads and bits and pieces there. Um, uh, crossbows I'm leaving on the sprue because they're uh, fiddly little beggars. I need to get the right hands um, to the right one. So I'll leave those on the sprue at the moment. Um, it's not a problem. Uh, and I've got a, everything I've got left to declip are all the swords and the visors, which uh, on that one and oops and swords and visors over here which I may do but it's getting late in the day so I don't know if I can be bothered <laughs> he says and then, oops and we've got more stuff over there so yeah there we go that's that's five boxes worth there's a big bag of figures now the real cleaning up starts and the gluing um yeah just gotta work my way through it um as and when I get time so Anyway, I'll leave that for now, just uh, show you what I've been doing today. <laughs> what a day. Thanks a lot and uh, bye for now.